Hello and welcome to the Lund University International Podcast. On the show, we aim to give you a taste of what international student life at Lund is like, as we speak to current students, alumni, teachers, and many more special guests. My name is Tim Parker. I'm an international communications officer here at Lund University. And today we are talking about the Lund University International Instagram account. And we have some very special guests with us here in the studio. So first of all, we have Ella. Hello everyone, my name is Alejandra. I'm from Peru, I'm 25 years old, and I'm currently the Instagram ambassador for the Lund University Instagram account. Nice, so currently in your week right now. Exactly. Perfect, although I'm guessing when we air this episode, your week might be will be over, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's live right now. And beside you we have Dom. Hey, my name is Dominic, I come from Czech Republic. Uh, I'm 25 years and uh, yeah, I'm 25 years old and I did actually my Instagram ambassador week uh, right before Ale. So you might probably know me already. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And the both weeks went exceptionally well or are also going well. <laughs> Thank you very much for Cheers. that. I really enjoyed your week, though. Oh, it was really nice. Thank you. I'm really enjoying so far yours. So Thank you. <laughs> I think you're off to the good start and let's see. Let's see how you ended up. <laughs> <laughs> Positive vibes all around. And we have a full studio today. We also have one other guest. Yes, hi, I'm Lucrezia, and I'm uh, from Lithuania, currently studying environmental management and policy. So with the Instagram account, I work as the coordinator of the ambassadors, and I also did my takeover in early September. Yeah, but you guys really uh, went off to a good start this spring semester. You were one of the two first ambassadors um, after the winter break, so that's uh, really like refreshing to see faces again. Yeah, yeah. I remember I actually wanted to sign up already in the first semester. I remember texting to someone on the on the account who was already taken. I think someone was taken over at the time. I was like, "Hey guys, I wanna you know join. I wanna I wanna do this." And then I, I got a message from you. I don't know who was it, but uh, yeah, was there's gonna be there's, there's gonna be like a, a option for you to sign up. Like we don't do ad hoc, but we do this. So once I saw it. I, I exactly. Up. I remember, Tim, you told me that I was the first one who applied to be an interim <laughs> ambassador. That's right. And that made it so special. And did, yeah. you wait, did you wait for it to come out? <laughs> I literally did not, but I just saw the Instagram story because I think you posted it through the Instagram account, right? Like, you can apply here. So I did it and it was all natural. I think nice. it was destined to be. And now you're here. <laughs> awesome. Here we are. Yep. Yeah, so maybe we should uh, tell the people who don't really know what is our Instagram account about. I'll introduce it a little bit. So it's the International Lund University account, um, meaning it's aimed at the prospective international students. But of course, we have like 43,000 followers at the, to this day. And um, most of them are probably prospective students, but it also includes the current students and alumni, some of the staff. And uh, how it works these days is that we have international Instagram ambassadors like Al and Dom taking over week by week and showcasing their student life in Lund. And uh, we try to get uh, like uh, different students coming from like different countries doing different programs. So we get like a good variety of advice and kind of personal insight into Lund. Nice, nice summary. <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> And there's also at the beginning of every semester a, a Halund Uni hashtag competition as well to uh, yeah. capture that excitement yeah. of arriving. So you're real, right? Yeah, <laughs> so I'm real. I, did real. <laughs> I, did. Uh, I had a photo. I had a photo. Yeah. Perfect. In on front the of bike, the library. On the bike in yeah. front of the yeah, library, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Variation yeah. on the classic thing. Yeah, so, exactly. But, yeah, I think the account is very valuable for international students. I followed the account before applying to Lund University. And I really think it helped me to know more about student life and accommodation, um, how is uh, the nation staying here. Uh, that for me, it was very valuable. I don't know. What about you? Uh, for me, um, I mean, my application process was kind of uh, chaotic, but not because <laughs> of uni, but because of myself. So <laughs> I didn't really reach out to the uni uh, account until like I was actually yeah. here. So. So for me, it was okay. different, but yeah, I can see how it must have been valuable to see like how's the life here and and the nations and stuff. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, you both recently had your takeovers mm -hmm. and they were both fantastic. Yeah. Uh, 
we can even really see some highlights of student life in Lund and also not just at university, but on the weekends yeah. and all the aspects of life as an international student. So Dom, you had some fantastic reels about the things you've been doing in and around Lund. Do you want to? Yeah, sure. Uh, I can share. I mean, I think I would like to share maybe the whole thing, how I approached it. Because uh, for me, it was uh, my my uh, my program. I study entrepreneurship and innovation, and it's relatively busy. So by the time I got into this ambassadorship, I was like, wow, this is exciting. And now mm-hmm. uh, as it was approaching, I was like, oh, my God, I've got so much to do. And I also <laughs> have this ambassador. Like, and one I more like, thing. Yeah. And I try to, like, plan everything. Uh, but you know how it goes with planning. Like, you, you, you plan it, and then you leave it last minute anyway. Oh, yeah, <laughs> At least that's me. But I saw your good, like, plan. It was, like, very perfectly. I mean, Ale yeah. didn't uh, stay behind with planning as well. Yeah, like, yeah I feel... me too. I think I, want, I wanted to portray, like, my everyday life. I think it's important mm-hmm. for international students, prospect international students, to get to know a little bit more of my daily activities but i also enjoy a lot uh, how you did your reels with this nature thing mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. hiking and the recommendations in the cafes i think that's very valuable as well i pretty much just sum up what what yeah what i've been up to what are my like it's my interest right so i just wanted to share what, what are the options and i know that not maybe everyone will enjoy hikes but there was also coffee places that <laughs> i enjoy and yeah places in lund even like you can just visit which I found really nice. So uh, I had some good, good, um, uh, yeah, co- some comments from the people that, yeah, thanks for like sharing this cafe, exactly. thanks for sharing the um, uh, trips and stuff. So hopefully, hopefully, yeah, people could take something. Yes, from I it. have received a lot of questions as well. Uh, people from all over the world, they really take the information we share very. Uh, they value a lot of information, mm-hmm. so I think it's very interesting uh, for us to let them know a little bit more. Yeah, and you give us peer-to-peer experience, you exactly. know, they ask as current students. Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel like uh, as remote maybe as staff sometimes could feel. Mm-hmm. Exactly, and it's not that we're trying to portray a perfect life, because we all have ups and downs yeah. from time to time, but it's important for them to know that it's really good to be a student in Lund, mm-hmm. and that's what we're trying to share. But back to you, Tim, as you asked about the reels, uh, I mean, we know reels are what like the algorithm, algorithm, algorithm likes at the moment, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so obviously, like we, we enjoy them as well. At least like I, I enjoy creating them, but man, they take so much time. <laughs> <laughs> so I, can, I mean, I can tell from how high quality they are. Like, damn, these guys put a lot of effort into their reels. They're yeah. really, really nice. Yeah, and it really helped me to meet with you, Lucrezia, before. To do oh. the planning. <laughs> yeah, you gave me some ideas, so it was really good. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Then that's a good point to also note that when you're an ambassador, we have an interim ambassador coordinator who's there supporting you the whole way through, helping you with tips and planning as well. That's mm-hmm. me. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's really nice. Like, I'm staying in touch with the ambassadors every week, like every day of their week and before that. So it's really nice also like to see Dom now after he took over, but we're still now in touch mm-hmm. at least a little bit on different projects or just, uh, yeah, you can just meet for coffee afterwards as well. So yeah, I have to say it's super helpful to have you like, you know, on site, you just can reach out to you. Like I didn't fortunately have many problems, but I remember there was uh, some messages that just like, I was, what do I say? <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So you could take over and yeah. uh, help me out there as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. And right now I'm sharing, for example, my process of looking for a job here. Nice. And that's a topic that many people also mm. are very interested in. Yeah, of course. So yeah, that's, I think it, it helps us to stay in touch with prospective students. Mm. So you're looking for a job after uni or during the uni? You uh, right now, because class is finishing March, okay. so for my program. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I would so prefer after. to have a job yeah. right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice. nice. Proactive approach. I like it. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I mean, I'm looking here at your most recent real ally as well. It's a really a nice tour of the main Lund University yeah, library. Inside. <laughs> yeah, inside. Yeah, inside for once. I remember meeting with Lucrezia. She helped me actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was some pictures. yeah, it was really nice. I came up with that idea with a friend, and yeah, I think it's very interesting to also show how it is inside because we all see these incredible pictures about the <laughs> building outside. Yeah, outside, but then inside it's also amazing. Mm. 
Yeah, and mm -hmm. I also spend a lot of time there, so that's why. <laughs> it's your study spot? Sometimes, from okay. time to time, yeah. <laughs> nice. It got, that building got voted the, to be the most beautiful building in Sweden in, in, Sweden. An, on, in an online poll. So. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> counts, counts. <laughs> she got them likes. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's a highly photographed building. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I have a lot of photos of the building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as we can see from uh, your takeover as well. Mm -hmm. And Dom, you also went live during your week. You yes. did the IG live about sure. Sparkloon. Sparkloon, yeah. Tell us about that. So first of all, what is Spark? Uh, Spark is a student-to-student -student led coaching service. Uh, we are basically, it's part of our, not part of our program, but we are students all from my program. So entrepreneurship and innovation. And uh, we're trying to help students that have some business idea to come to us and we you know, show them how they can develop their business models, how they look for the value and how they can test it and whatever. So that's our main goal. And we actually had a kickoff, a kickoff event on Wednesday when I was taking over uh, the Instagram account. So I thought it would be amazing. Uh, once for Spark, but also for the students to know that there is something, uh, something like that. Yeah. So we try to do, uh, uh, yeah. IG Life. Perfect which, timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was perfect timing, to be honest. And so we just, yeah, we just did. Uh, we talked a little bit about that. Um, it, we were a little bit afraid because um, we didn't properly try in like a noisy area before. Mm -hmm. And then we started recording. There was no one in the hall, but then the lectures finished and yeah. everybody was just like going in and get busy. And we were like, okay, do you think they're going to hear anything or not? So we had we to did, put the did. phone all oh, the yeah. way up. Up to the face, yeah. <laughs> just to be sure. Yeah. It worked out fine. Worked yeah. Out. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm also checking the the private messages, and many people is asking when are the applications going to be open for the next round of Instagram ambassadors. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, in April. Oh, yeah, nice. which is perfect yeah. timing. Perfect. Yeah, we've been getting also a lot of emails coming in since you guys have done your weeks mm -hmm. of people wanting to be ambassadors. So yeah. you're inspiring, inspiring everyone. Yeah. <laughs> and Lucrezia, uh, we should not forget that you also had a very good week last semester as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it was I, I was the first one in the in September. So it was like after the summer break, because during the summer holidays and uh, winter holidays, no one is taking over. We give ambassadors time off as well. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so then the content is just curated. But so then um, as I started as the coordinator of the ambassadors, uh, I also took over. So, yeah, that was fun. I remember the week was way busier than I initi initially expected. You know, it was like second week of a master's, uh, head all in. But uh, yeah, it was it was fun. And uh, like I'm the, how to call it, commuter student. I live in Malmo, so I can oh. show a little bit about that. Um, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I get that. I, I'm also trying to plan a lot of activities for this week to show people what we do. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm having a lunch. Well, I shouldn't probably say this, but I'm having a lunch this Saturday with some friends from Latin America because I also want to show that there are many from Latin America here. Mm -hmm. I've been receiving a lot of questions around that. How many Latin Americans are there in the <laughs> How there many? As if you know exactly the number. Yeah. Like, yeah. Know the number. At least everybody. in my program, I'll yeah. show them. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. No, it's nice to show that, okay, you're in Lund, you are immersed in Swedish culture, but you can also find a little bit of your home spice. Here. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? Uh, actually, I was funny, asking about the Czech. Before. Funny story. Yeah, we had a meeting yesterday with the Czech guys. Cause okay. like I was like, I don't <laughs> know Czech anyone. Guys. I don't know anyone from Czech yeah. Republic here. Like I wasn't actively looking, looking or like trying to mm -hmm. search. Uh, not nothing against Czech people. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I was just like not. Uh, I was just hanging out with my uh, peers from from my class. Mm -hmm. But then uh, as I took over the Instagram ambassadorship, people were like reaching. Out, oh, so I'm not the only one here. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah you're not. Like. Hello. There's more of us. And then yesterday we met uh, over coffee just to see who's actually here. So I first thought maybe it'll be mostly Erasmus students for on their exchange. But it was actually students who study their masters here as well. That's so nice. so yeah. it's nice. Yeah. Speak your own language, you know, mother tongue. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And in your case, look at so that you have Lithuanians. Yeah, yeah, there's quite a few, but okay, quite a few, not that many. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like um, I do sometimes, from time to time, like uh, on purpose, kind of try to find some Lithuanians. Like I would post on my Instagram account or mm -hmm. ask my friends, do they know any Lithuanians? Suggest so that we could, you know, speak your language or celebrate some of the national yeah. holidays together. So that's always fun. 
But also I think when you take over and you say where you're from, you often get the comments or DMs saying, oh, woohoo, I'm also from this country. So yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I guess that's why we behind the scenes are trying to get mm -hmm. like as diverse a set of ambassadors for the semester so that everyone feels like represented, but also that, you know, you can kind of uh, increase your community yeah. or whatever. Talking about representation, mm -hmm. I had a really nice comment from one girl from Bosnia because mm -hmm. me and my friends, we went over for a weekend to Bosnia Herzegovina and she's like, oh, this is so nice that you know, you're showcasing a Bosnia Herzegovina on your account <laughs> because, yeah. uh, you know, we're a quite small country and stuff. So yeah, it was kind of, kind of nice that <laughs> even like a one post on the on the story can have an in influence on someone like making their day or whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's awesome. That's really nice. And I mean, like as you guys are talking about the international environment at Linz, you can really see that on the accounts. Mm -hmm. We've had so, so many ambassadors from so mm -hmm. many different countries. So I'm also thinking about the ambassador that was on the week before you, Diana. Uh, Diana and she was amazing. Yeah, she I was, totally loved her. <laughs> her reels were so wholesome and inspirational. Yeah. Made me want to like go back and be an international student all over again. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Really, really enjoyable. Yeah, it's a really good experience because when you, as you said, one year from now, you're going to go back to the Lund University account and you're going to see, oh, I did it. That's and it was me. the yeah. best week ever. <laughs> At the time, you were like, God damn it, there's so many misses. <laughs> <laughs> but now, yeah, and then you only remember sure. the good things, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I remember taking over from Deanna. I was like, oh man, she, you know, stepped up the game. Really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel the pressure as well. Like, you're awake, and I'm like, everyone gets pressure from the week before. Yeah, yeah. And like, I mean, and also Deanna looked like so relaxed and calm the yeah. whole time. I'm like, yeah. okay, you just made like seven amazing reels, but you look like you're chilling with your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I studied with Deanna actually, and like, she, uh, we call her our, uh, not Instagram, our um, program influence. Influencer generally, yeah. I feel like uh, it's it's a thing. Like she likes doing it on a daily basis, anyway. Yeah. So taking over for her was like another day, you know. Actually, yeah. yeah if you guys wanna follow their program, she she's still posting something. I love yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm following. I'm watching. What yesterday we went to some place. Yeah, we did. We went yeah. on a city visit. Yeah, yeah to Hagen Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. What did you do there? We were at steel powder plants mm. so where they make steel powder mm. um yeah that was pretty interesting the most like dusty and dirty study visit ever <laughs> <laughs> like i came home and i felt yeah. like Phew. but it was uh, fun like one hour trip by bus and then like really in the industry you see that's good steel yeah. powder. in my case for example my friends held it with some content i don't know if in your case it's the same or you just did it by yourself? Uh, with the Spark, uh, yeah. Spark Life, yeah, I had mm. help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good opportunity also to engage all the people in your master, or your uh -huh. program, or your core. They be, exactly, they become yeah. part of this. So yeah. it's a great experience mm -hmm. for anyone who's surrounding you. And everyone gets happy that you're kind of representing the program as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, yeah, can you feature me on your lunch or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, really, that happens. But it's like in a nice way, so it's yeah. always fun. No, I was working on my thesis during the week and my uh, like program project basically, and I was always like, hey, "Smile, you're on the Lund <laughs> University account." And I had uh, my my partner for thesis, Linnea. Uh, her mom, she she comes from Lund, but she lives in the US now. Yeah. And like she basically saw it on the on the. So um, she follows the account. Yeah, now she follows the account because she was like, "Oh." I saw you on the account. I was like, oh, all right. Okay. So she saw her on the account. She's like, why are you doing this? Yeah, so when I introduced the account and I said, the, uh, who are the followers? Then, uh, yeah, parents as well are the followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I received a message from um, mom from Peru. She reached to, to my personal account. She wanted to know some information. But yeah, parents, yeah, they yeah. follow the account. <laughs> you need to inspire the parents too, you know, not just the prospective students. Yeah. Here we go. The parents are there watching. Yeah. And for anyone that was watching your week, Dom, they would have seen a lot of uh, hiking that you've done. So it looks sure. like you have a pretty good idea of outdoor activities in Skåne and Sweden. Yeah, I yeah. try to. Like, I, I really enjoy outdoors overall, like, in my life. So I was uh, ultimately looking for what is it, what is here to do when I came here. So we actually just looked out up the national parks around here and, like, always try to see how we can get there easily with public transport because ne no, none of us have car or, like, uh, cannot get easily around here. And the public transport here is amazing, so you can get anywhere where you want yeah. with it. Good to know. Public <laughs> yeah. transport in yeah. and around Lund is fantastic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of places that you can visit. Uh, 
I have to say it's quite flat, so no mountains, <laughs> which is a that bit is shame. True. But uh, <laughs> on the other hand, it's super nice uh, nature just to go on a weekend and turn off from all of the studies and everything mm -hmm. is just awesome. For switch off for Instagram for an hour or two, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Or yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> not during the ambassador week. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. How many ambassadors are there for each round? There's usually about 15 to 17 each semester. Mm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And as you said, you try to like select people from a variety of backgrounds. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. So we may, when we uh, when the ambassadors are selected during the application period, we make sure we get a representation from as many programs and countries as we can, mm -hmm. yeah. which is pretty easy because Lund is super international, as mm -hmm. you've already said. So. There's usually students from about 130 different countries in Lund mm -hmm. each year, so getting a diverse range of ambassadors is... Is it true that the, most of the internationals come uh, mostly for masters, or is there actually higher percentage for bachelors? Well, there's 130 international masters programs mm -hmm. and only nine international oh, bachelors. Okay. So, so makes sense. that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think you also, you guys both, you already touched on you can really showcase different events and different things going mm -hmm. on in Lund and around Lund. And I think that's a really good way for prospective students and even current students to get inspired, right? Mm -hmm. Because there's so many extracurricular activities at Lund, organizations and associations that you can be part of. I think it's a really good way, and what you guys have shown so far is mm -hmm. a really good way of showing all the things that are happening. Um, yeah. Yes, the nations, for starters, Super important here in Lund. I think you all, you only have it in Lund and Uppsala, right? Yeah, that's exactly. Right. So mm -hmm. it's very Lund characterized. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, I, I personally can't say much about nations because I don't go to many <laughs> events. <laughs> but I I heard amazing things. I don't know why I don't take advantage of it while I'm here. But <laughs> the parties are good, <laughs> and they sell good lunches as well. So nice. you should go. Yeah, nice. Cheap lunches, good parties. Perfect for student life. Exactly. Yeah. Well, guys, I mean, it's been fantastic to have you here in the studio today. I'm just thinking if there's anything else you want to touch on before we finish up. Any inspirational words for future students who are watching your week and thinking of coming to Lund? Yes, I would just advise them to go for it. Apply to Lund University is a great experience you won't regret. I can only agree. Um, I Yeah, I did actually... My study abroad during my bachelor's in uh, Sweden, I was in Yon shopping, but uh, I stopped here in Lund before and I just saw how beautiful the town is. And then I heard the amazing stuff about the university. So when I was applying for master's, Lund was the only option for me and it didn't disappoint and I would never regret. Nice. <laughs> so I'm really enjoying the, the town. When I came here, I was like, this is like um, you know, like a fairy tale town, especially mm -hmm. in summer, because like I was here at the end of August oh, and it was hot. still like 30 degrees in yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sweden, it was hot. And I was like, well, where am I? <laughs> small streets, yeah. small houses. Cozy yeah. cobblestone streets. Yeah. 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 I loved it. So yeah, amazing, super nice people from all over the place. So I can just recommend guys. Nice. Yeah, exactly. I mean you will find probably like all the nationalities you want mm. from your country. If you want to meet people from other countries, that's like guaranteed for you. You're not going to escape that. And then, yeah, as uh, as all of us said, there's so many activities like, you know, from parties to hikes to just all the organizations. So uh, if you follow the account, I guess you will also learn from other future ambassadors what they are into. Um, yeah. Not to be only positive. <laughs> there's no <laughs> IKEA in Lund. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. a 10 minute drive away in Malmö. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Student budget, we can drive. So yeah, yeah. Public transportation. <laughs> exactly. Okay, well, there's a negative aspect of student life. <laughs> <laughs> Although you can, you know, pick up secondhand furniture in Lund as well. Exactly. <laughs> no, I was mostly thinking about the IKEA meatballs. Okay, oh, right. Make your own. Yeah, make your own. True, true, true. Oh, <laughs> well, guys, thank you all so much for coming in today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Lund University International Podcast. If you're interested in learning more about Lund University, you can go to our website, lunduniversity.lu.se. You can also follow us on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And you can also chat with our current students on Unibuddy. Don't forget to subscribe, and we look forward to bringing you a new episode very soon.